Hey guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as Usugi, Japan. We are currently sieging down one of our main rivals actually. Uh, and we are going to eat him up, spit him out. Actually we're not going to spit him out, we're just going to eat him up. I'm going to eat you up boy. And then all shall be good in the world. Hey we've got a 9-4 slammet now. Oh you sir. After this war's done we shall... Call up extra troops, I get recruits, national unrest, but I get manpower. Help the suffering peasants and lose war exhaustion or gain prestige. How is our war exhaustion? We just paid it down, which is a shame. Uh, let's gain 10 prestige. Sure, sure thing, boss. Create a proper fleet, that is absolutely fine. I shall do that. Wow, we got a lot more. Uh. Three, four, five. We got a lot more naval force limit when we stopped being Japan's vassal. That's awesome. So yeah, Japan, you're uh, not looking so hot now, bro. Hatakiyama declared war on Hosokawa. Okay, I don't know why you would do that. I mean, sure, they look weak, but... You're not going to take any of these sieges and I'm just going to full annex them, so... <laughs> I suppose you can do that if you like. Uh, so what is that, like, do you still get... Yeah, so, alright, oh, that's really strange, so... Osakawa is Japan's vassal, but they don't get called in because I was already at war before we finished the war with Japan. That's really odd. Really, really strange. Really strange. Odd. We have won the Siege of Aki. Great, so let's pull these guys off and back to Kai. Kai's my favourite because it's the gold place. It produces gold! You can't, act, as far as I remember, you can't do anything to get any more money from gold. It's just, that's what you get. You can't, like, none of the production modifiers or anything. Nah, cancel that. None of the production modifiers or anything give you more gold. Which is a shame, but yeah. These things happen, I suppose. I suppose it's like, it's just a way to offset gold. I mean, it wasn't bad enough that uh, the gold gives you this ridiculous inflation constantly. You need to keep spending down or let it cycle out of control. Got unrest. I don't have a like, inflation reduction fella, which is a shame. Alright. Hey, that's the siege back our own province. Nice. Alright, can you detach? No. Eh, uh, rebels. Alright, what are you? No, 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 you stay where you are. I just lose all pers- No, I didn't. I've still got three ticks. That's fine. Yes, spare no expense. Even though that's gaining us inflation, we don't want to gain inflation. It gives us 50 admin points, which is at 75 to take it down by two, so it makes so much sense to have it. Ah, look at that. Let's uh, not recombine the fleet just yet. Alright, I need another three barks. I don't know that was a bark I made. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Thank God. I need another 20 ducats to build my last bark and then we can start ruling the uh, ruling this trade node. That would be awesome. How? I don't understand how they've got so many ships there. The Josetsu is over. Okay. I could vassalize them, which would be a bit easier, but I'm just going to annex them. I'll make it a lot easier when converting the full thing to Christianity. I nearly clicked accept there because I'm a big poo. Hey, accumulate money. Love it. Just 110 ducats. Let's uh, let's take that. It's better than any of the other bloody ones. All for peace. Let's uh, stop building these. Gain ourselves some money. Call for Peace is horrible. Why have we got Call for Peace? I'm sieging down, like, one of their provinces. If I could fully annex them right now, I would. But I can't, so I won't. Arr. But damn you, game, and your calls for peace. That's gonna just bump up my war exhaustion like a madman. Arr. Plus point zero two every month. Hopefully we can spit this out pretty quickly. Get the full annexation done. Ah, 21%, nice. Hopefully we shouldn't be that many more months before we take it. 
Come on. I know hoping for a 21% tick is stupid, but it's just so many ducats. But I would like it to either like increase in percentage or just tick. For crying out loud. They have a geisha. Eh, uh, no, it's loads of prestige. Oh my god, it's going to do it soon. Ah. How many times can you fail a 1 in 5 chance? I don't know why it's, oh, it's just not ticking up because it's at 12. So 21% is like the chance. Made a 14 roll to... Oh, I got 11. Made a 14 roll to do that. Or a 20 to 22. Procedure. I'm just gonna I'm gonna take all of the freaking war exhaustion here, don't mind me. Finally. Freaking finally. Right, full ex full extension. Full over extension. No, full annexation. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, copper piece, whatever. That war exhaustion, no, jeez. Oh my god, the war exhaustion's bumping it up. There we are. Alright, and now let's increase autonomy everywhere. We've got like 75% autonomy everywhere because that's all I've done was just increase the autonomy. Um, let's uh, select all the boats. Get you guys to come into the Tokai Sea. We shall merge you all together. I can't believe how long it took for that place to fall. That was insane. Got enforce our heritage. What's the point? Unless we take over this area, what's the point? These guys are going to so many rebels. Ah, Japan helped. Into the treasury, I'll gain the prestige. No, let's give us the 20 ducats. There we go, we got to accumulate money. That is all well and good. What is our next mission like? Just over extension? Ah. How about you give us... Gain some manpower. Yeah, my power reserves really need to recover. I think you're right there. Ah, we, we don't have enough manpower to get it. 90%, what we at? Oh, we're actually at 50%. Oh well, apparently we can't do, we can't do that right now. Uh, right, you guys protect the Nippon trade nodes. You're getting a lot more money from... Raid now. Yeah, 2.24 ducats. That's not too shabby. Uh, you guys protect the trade node. Any good decisions? Nope, not yet. We to destroy Japan. Ah, it'll come. Level 1 treasure that gives us more tax. It's uh... How many do you? 35? That's actually an alright age. Buy you back. And uh, land maintenance modifier bloke is 36. Sure, we'll buy you back. There we go. 888. That's not bad. We got a 444. Noritada Usugi. Or Wisugi. So that's a way sound, apparently. On to YouTube's anyway, which might be wrong. But I'm on YouTube, so yeah, it's a way sound, guys. We Wisugi. You have to say it with that accent as well, so you can be a complete bamf. Wait a minute. Where are my ducats? Hey, ducats, where'd you go? I got a hundred. Wait a second. Progress less than 10% we get all the stuff back, otherwise we only get 50%. Yeah, that's fine. So, 60? 70? Yeah. Hmm. It's funny that that exploit still exists, even though, like, the game's just had another major patch, and, like, they know about it. Paradox know that that exploit is there, but they don't patch it, so, meh. Exploit equals game mechanics. I love it. How you doing, Korea? How you doing? Not so bad. Jean, Jean, Zhao, Jean Zhao, Jean Zhao is doing all right, which is surprising because they normally get correct. It's a high, high she. Yeah, high she are eating into Yeren. The Ainu up here. I would really like to blast into the Ainu so that I can then like push forward into here without having to go through Korea. So if I push into here and then go through there. How are 
You doing, Ryuku? Pathetic. Hmm, great. Japanese animist with, like, nothing good going on. That's a shame. I was half expecting them to start conquering the world, but no, apparently not. They must respect my authority. We shall carry ourselves with tact or gain 10 prestige or 5. Don't really care. I'll just gain a 5 prestige. We don't have to worry about anything else. Although we do have a truce with them, so meh, they can't really do much to us. At least for another two years. How is our force not looking? Oh, that's right. That's right. Stop being an idiot, Stijo, and get rid of those mercenaries. A set. Alright, that's them rid of, so let us grab two cavalry units to strengthen our army, because I need those guys on the flanks. We've got a 15 combat width right now. So, did that actually get added in here? No, not yet. Okay, so we've got a 15 combat width, uh, 20 combat width actually, so having 9 troops won't even use up the entirety of the combat width. Absolutely fine. You start off with 15 and then whatever it says in the technology, you, you add that. Because 15 is the base. And we're all about that base. <laughs> oh, we've got too few rivals, actually. Let's uh, let's just rival everyone nearby. Yeah, let's rival Japan. Let's rival no one else. Alright, let us... Oh, I've got a truce for them, don't we? Let's insult them. Yeah, suck it, Japan. Wait, did we send one insult? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Huh, I thought we would have got a, a boost to our power projection for insulting them. Obviously not. Okay. Right, let us just wait on these calls, I suppose. Let's bump up to speed 4 because I'm not actually doing anything. There we go, that's that guy built, and the next guy should be getting built out of Kai anyway. Sorted. And we've got some national decisions. Just wait on our manpower recovery, and there's no point getting the national decisions, because we don't need the... There's no point grabbing, like, negative one tons of heathen, heathens. We don't have any heathens. Yeah, sure, let's just do it. Ah, Japan! And for the win. Ah, uh, those calls are about to tick through as well, which will be lovely. Forget how far those uh, of me. All right, that's not too far actually. Two more month. Let's uh, speed five it, then we'll get our cores. That will be a good one. Pretty swish. There we go. This has got another four cores, so we should have even more force slot now. Yeah, we've got another one. Awesome, and we should have some more naval units. Yes, we've got another four, which is ridiculous. One, two. More ducats. Need more ducats. Makes sense. Second trade here? Yeah. There's no more pirate hunting, and there's no privateers anyway. We earn 2.78 ducats here. We have a lot of trade power. Three have got more though. But that's because they've got this freaking important centre of trade, the buggers. We've got this important centre of trade, but they've got this one. And I want that one. Should be Korea. Let's be Korean this. I wonder if we should start colonisation and just like blast over into the Americas. <laughs> oh god, that would be insane. Oh my god, that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Ryuku thing and just like come down here and start colonising. I'll, like, I'll just blast through all of these. Maybe colonise Australia? And get rid of all of these guys, maybe? I oh, know, that could be quite fun. Just as something to do, like, before we convert to uh, Christianity. Oh, ooh, tech. That's strange. We don't get that often. Oh, we've almost got the Diplo tech as well. Hey, tech tax. Tech tax and land morale, and we can build the armory. 
awesome. Then we'll get this uh, level 3 Diplo, which makes so much sense. Can't wait for it. Erg. Grant privileges, lose legitimacy, but gain tax, or... Uh, privileges have to be earned. Takayama. Earn your privileges. Hey! There you go. Awesome. Enables the early Karak. The early Karak is the heavy ship, is it not? It's the early Karak is the heavy ship. It's fine because I do not need you. I only need trade ships, basically. Basically. Right, but I think that's going to do us for this episode, guys. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG. You've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.